Teenagers, what we need is not more sex education. What we need is not another safe sex commercial. What we need is not more government funding. What we need is young men choosing to be real men today, standing up, saying no to sex outside of marriage, saying no to drugs and alcohol, and saying yes to what is right. Regardless of what your report card says, regardless of what your home life is like, regardless of where you've been, what you've done, what addictions have been formed in your life, regardless of what's going on in your life, I want you to know that your life has value. Your body does not know, young lady, that you're not wearing a wedding band and you're not married. All your body knows is, man, you've started down this physical path and it doesn't want to stop. You see, because our bodies weren't created just to draw the line and stop. That's why I believe, students, the question should not be how far is too far, but the question should be how far away from the danger do I need to stay? But young adults, reality is, yeah, you got a lot of freedom to do your own thing. But you know what? With freedom comes responsibility. And when we respond the wrong way and do the wrong thing, there are heavy consequences to face. But you see, students, the reason I'm so heavy with you is because I believe your future is a very heavy thing. And sometimes, you know what? We got to step out of the classroom. We got to set everyone else aside. We got to be incredibly selfish. And we got to stop and ask ourselves the question, are the choices I'm making today, are they helping? or are they hurting my future? Man, we sell out to the stuff that MTV pushes at us. We sell out to the stuff that we see in music videos today and we act before we stop and think. Anytime you choose to get involved in the wild stuff of this world, whether we're talking to drink at a party, whether we're talking to smoke, or whether we're talking to sexual choice out on your date, look, I don't care how cool you are, how much protection you use, what your older brother or sister did, or how in love you may think you feel. Listen, guys, anytime you choose to get involved in the wild stuff of this world, young adults, at some point, at some point, something bad's going to happen. Mark it down. You can be the generation that says, enough is enough. No more. I'm going to take a stand for what I know is best for me, not for what feels right. Not for what my friends say is right, but for what I know is right for my future. It was so awesome how he was able to relate to people our age and just really hit some powerful stuff that makes you question the way you live your life. I couldn't get over like how much he related to everything he said, just related to me somehow. Like I was like, oh, that's me. And then like I turn around and he say something else. I was like, that's me too. Like everything was just like my life. Like I think he related with the students a lot. He had everybody's attention and pretty much more than most guest speakers have when they come in. He did a really good job. He was a really good speaker. He held their attention. It was great. They were uh, very attentive, uh, no misbehaviors. Um, I think it would be great for any teen to see his message, and he did hold their attention. It was great. It's not often that they get a chance for someone to speak so straightforward to them with the truth, opposed to what um, they hear every day. So this is just something that students really need to hear and they really need to be aware of what's exactly out there because they're fed false information for so long. And just to hear the truth is something that I think is going to be really beneficial for my students. I could relate with him better than I could relate with my parents. So it was easier for me to make sense of what he was saying and whatnot than it would for my parents. 